Dear Heavenly Father, so I just say thank you for confirmation for leading me to the scripture. So I ask for permission to share this with the people. I ask that you be glorified and magnified, Father. Let me all come to you with one spirit, one voice, one nation. Father Yah, I humbly ask and request for your guidance and your assistance on speaking this uh, right the right way. Thus, Muhammad and Moses were not well speakers, but you said, as long as we will go, they will go forth, that you will guide them and speak for them. So, Father, I pray and humbly ask for that, for that gift. And I write, humbly come and pray in thy holy name. I come by the power of the Holy Spirit, and I request the assistance of the elders. And may all things bow down before thee, all things in the heaven and the earth and the seven seas, everything in them around them. May we all bow down. Shalom. Happy Sabbath again. It's Servant Hosea. The real. <laughs> There's a young guy. Uh, oh, man, man. Shorty and Miles was uh, chit chatting and on the phone with a fan. And, uh, cause, you know, I don't like to, I would like to say, I didn't like to say, but after a while, I was, you know, keep saying some things are just too monotonous. So when I would say, uh, uh, well, Jose, they're real. You know, I didn't know how people were really taken to that. And so it was, I started feeling like it was kind of egotistically for a minute. And so I had to humble some more, humble it down, just say, servant, real. And, uh, <laughs> In a conversation, right? And uh, he was like, I was like, who's that, sweetie? And she was like, uh, sweet cousin. He was like, who's that? And she was like, oh, that's Omar. And then he was like, they're real. <laughs> I thought that was kind of, you know, kind of funny. Even then, I'm getting little, little, little book goosebumps. But I wanted to share a scripture with you guys concerning the kings, the pride of Egypt, the pride of Kemet. The pride of Judah, the pride of Ethiopia, the pride of e uh, Nubia, uh, and it's entitled Egypt's Pride. And, um, and it goes as follows. This is chapter 30 in the book of Ezekiel. I'm going to try to get this through speedily as I can, with much clarity as, as, I, as I can as well. And it reads as, as thus. And investigate these names and terms too. Please do. That's how you find more in depth of who these people are. And whether the Bible has any real significance. Or the Quran. The Holy Gita and all those things. When you study the names and show that they're self-approved. Then you can speak these things. Say yeah. I read about that person. And this is what they did. Chapter 30. The word of, of Yah came again unto me saying. Son of man. Prophecy and say. Thus says Yah Allah. How? How ye, woe with the day, for the day is near, even the day of Yah is near a cloudy day. It shall be a time of the heathen. Verse 3. For the day is near, even the day of Yah is near, and a cloudy day. I mean, not and, but a cloudy day. It shall be time, it shall be the time of the heathen. So the heathen has their time to reign. Verse 4. And the sword came upon Egypt. Slash commit. A great pain shall be in Ethiopia. This is verse 4, chapter 30, verse 4 in Ezekiel. And pain shall be in Ethiopia when the slain shall fall in Egypt. And they shall take away her multitude and her foundation shall be broken, broken down. Ethiopia, Libya, Lydia, and all the mingled. See, mingle. So we, we, in a, we had interracial connections. And Chub, C-H-U-B. And the men of the land that is in league shall fall with them by the sword. Thus saith Yah, they also, they also that uphold Egypt shall fall. And the pride of the power shall come down from the power S-Y-E-N-E. Sini. -E. Shall they fall in, fall in it by the sword, saith the Lord Yahlah. And they shall be desolate in the midst of the countries that are desolate. And her city shall be in the midst of the cities that are wasted. And they shall know that I am Yahlah when I have set a fire in Egypt, and when all her helpers shall be destroyed. 9. And that day shall messengers go forth from me in ships to make the careless Ethiopians afraid, and great pain shall come upon them as in the day of Egypt. For lo, 
it cometh. Thus saith Yahweh, I will also make the multitude of Egypt cease to by, by the land, by hand of Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon. See? Thus saith Yahweh, I will also make the multitude of Egypt to cease by the land of Nebuchadnezzar, by the king of Babylon, by four, verse 11. He and his people with him, the terrible of the nations, shall be brought to destroy the land, and they shall draw their swords against Egypt slash commit and fill the land with the slain. And I will make the rivers dry and sell the land into the hand of the wicked. And I will make the land waste all that is here therein and by the hand, hand of strangers. I, Yah, have spoken spoken it. Thus saith Yahweh, I will also destroy the idols and I will cause their images to cease out of Nump. That's N-O-P-H, Nump. And there shall be no more a prince of the land of Egypt and I will put a fear in the land of Egypt. And I will make Peth Pethros desolate, and now set fire to Zoan, Z O A N, and will execute judgments in No, the land of No. And I will pour my fury upon Sin, the strength of Egypt, and I will cut off the multitude of No. And I will set fire in Egypt slash commit, since you will have great pain, and No shall be rent asunder, and North shall have distress daily. The young men of Avon, A-V-N, and Pibeseth, P-I-B-E-S-E-T-H, shall fall by the sword. And these cities shall go into captivity. At Teth, T-E-H-A-P-H, Nehes, N-E-H-E-S, one whole word spelled like this such, T-E-H-A-P-H-N-E-H-E-S, that's the whole word. Also the day shall be darkened, when I shall break they are the yokes of Egypt, and the pomp of her strength shall cease in her, as for her a cloud shall cover her, and her daughter shall go into captivity. Thus I will execute judgment in, in Egypt slash commit, and they shall know that I am Yah. It came to pass in the eleventh year, and the first of, of Yah came unto me, saying, Son of man, I have broken the arm of Pharaoh. Now Pharaoh, the, the, Pharaoh the woman, the most had have broken the arm of the woman, so she has no strength. She has no power because the arm has been broken. So, if the Pharaoh means woman, your arm is broken, woman. And if Pharaoh means king, your arm is broken, king. You're no longer. You can't hold the staff or rule by that with that. And it says that I have broken the arm of Pharaoh, the king of Kemet slash Egypt. And lo, it shall not be bound up to be healed. See? To put a roller to block to bind it. To make it strong to hold the sword. Read it again. And lo, it shall not be bounded up to be healed. To put a roller to bind it. To make it strong to hold the sword. So you won't even be able to defend yourself. As this verse 22. Therefore thus says Yahweh, Behold, I am against Pharaoh. The king or the queen of Egypt or Kemet. And I will break his... No, it says, and it says, and, and I will scatter the Egyptians among the nations, and I will dis disperse them through the countries, and I will strengthen the arms of the king of Babylon, and put my sword in his hand, but I will break Pharaoh's arm, and he shall groan before him with the groanings of deadly wounded of a deadly wounded man. But I will strengthen the arms of the king of Babylon, and the arms of Pharaoh shall fall down, and they shall know that I am Yahweh. When I shall put my sword into the hand of the king of Babylon, and he shall stretch it out upon the land of Egypt. And I will scatter the Egyptians among the nations, and disperse them among the countries, and they shall know that I am Yahweh. And in this one verse in chapter 23, it says, first verse, And it came to pass the eleventh year in the third month, and the first day of the month, which is April, mid-March, which is the new year. The word of Yah came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak unto Pharaoh, king, or Pharaoh, queen, of Egypt, slash, uh, commit, and to his multitude, whom art thou like thy great greatness? Behold, the Assyrian was a cedar in Lebanon, and with their branches, and with shadowing shroud, and in high stature, and his top was among the thick bows. And the water made him great, the deep in him on the high, and the water in her rivers running round about his plants, and set her little rivers into the trees of the field. 
So we wanted to read that with you to you folks. Um I mean it goes even further chapter thirty two chapter thirty two. You know it says, Son of man, take a lamentation for Pharaoh, the king or queen, uh commit, and say unto them, Thou art like young lions of the nations, and thou art as a whale in the seas, and thou comest forth thy rivers and troublest the waters with thy feet, the foulest the rivers. Thus saith Yahweh, I will therefore spread out my net over thee with a company of many people, and they shall bring thee up in my net. So, uh, the pride of Egypt and the or commit or you Nuwabians. There is no doubt that you're not, that you're kings and queens, there's no doubt. But you're not the only ones. You've put yourself so high and placed yourself in so much honor that you didn't even ask permission of the Most High. And so Israel, Ethiopia, Kemet, has all been underwashed and tainted by Nimrod, the Babylonian. The cursed seed of Canaan. You know, it's, it's written. Uh, and another thing too, before, before we sign out. You've, you've bled astray so far. That the creator is a God of life. And he wrote a book of life. But yet y'all worship the book of the dead. Who worship the dead? Who studies the dead? When the Most High has given us so much to live for. Till next time, this is the servant on more Hosea. We say be good to each other. And if this doesn't make sense, shall we keep speaking or shall we move in silence? Peace. Uh.